Hi, welcome to my Newtopia. I'm Mara. Today is March the 27th, 2017. I had VSG surgery on August 15th, 15th, 2016 at Central Carolina Surgery in Greensboro, North Carolina. My surgery date weight was 250 pounds. My highest ever recorded weight was 300 pounds. My weight today is 186 pounds. I'm five foot eight. I'm also babysitting a friend's bird, Pearl. And so if you hear any squawks or see any seeds fly by, that's because she is just right outside, right past the camera, just like a foot from the camera and is very interested in what I'm doing. So she might want to join in. Anyway, uh, so I had some NSVs this week. Um, now, let's see, I went to the zoo and walked around there and um, went to a fiber festival for knitters and people who crochet and use yarn and things. And all told in the day, I walked um, over 1,300 steps, which for me is, is over four miles. Um, no, that's not right. Anyway, I have managed to break my stall or my increase or whatever it was that I was going on. Um, don't really know exactly what it was. It was just probably a plateau, as they call it, not a true stall. I mean, I gained some weight back, so I'm back to the weight that I was two weeks ago three weeks ago now. And oh, I got a haircut. Just got that this morning. Trying to decide what color to dye it next. Yeah, turquoise, blue, purple, greens. Um, also, I got a little sunburn. You can see it there. Uh, while I was at the zoo because when I got there it was totally overcast and cold and I was wearing two coats. Um, and then the sun came out, but of course I had left my sunscreen and my hat in the car because I thought, well, if the sun came out, then it'll still probably be cold. Uh, but it wasn't. I had taken up both, taken off both my coats. I mean, so it'd be cold, so I'd put my hood up on my on my coat. Is what I meant. Um, yes, Pearl's now showing off, trying to get my attention. Here, let me show you real quick. Hi, Pearlbird. Hi, Pearlbird. Pretty girl, pretty girl. So uh, yeah, I admit I'm not really a bird person, but uh, she's a sweet bird. Um, I've known her for the whole time that, that I've known her family. So like seven years maybe, six or seven years. She's a, she's a sweetheart. Um, and they're getting ready to put their house on the market, so they were needing someone to take care of her while while they were moving into a, a hotel. And I said that we we could do it because I I really like her, and my husband really likes her too. I was trying to think. I did have another NSV, but I can't remember what it was. But um, something interesting. I I don't know if anyone else has had this um, itchy skin. Since I've been losing weight, um, my skin's gotten a lot itchier. It's gotten a lot drier. I don't know if it is weight related. Someone actually said that it was because your body was, yeah, because of weight loss, because your body was readjusting to the size, your skin was shrinking. And so it was um, itchy because while it was changing, but I don't really know if that's true or not. I'm having all kinds of issues with my camera today. So let's see. My cats are very interested in the bird. They've never seen a bird inside the house before and I'm afraid their hunting instinct has come out a little bit so we have to keep the door closed when they're, when, when, when a, a human is not in here so that uh, nothing happens to Pearl. I have a video on for her to watch. It's actually a cat sitting video. <laughs> so it has like birds and gerbils and butterflies and things but I figured it, it would work for her too.
so I've been keeping myself busy. Um, I've applied to volunteer at a local hospital. Um, actually, sorry, I, I applied to be in the bariatric ward. I don't know if they actually have a ward or if it's just the surgery, you know, general surgeon floor or what. I don't even know if that's where they'll put me, but that was my, that's what I said was my first choice was the bariatric group. And um, I've been hanging out with some friends and helping a friend organize her house. So that's been fun. Um, been, you know, being able to get out of the house more. So to help with, uh, you know, the depression and things and things have been looking up. I've gotten rid of some stress in my life uh, for my HOA. I was on the board of the HOA and I was also on the board of my clubhouse and I have one more month in my clubhouse and then after six years uh, being on that board I'm stepping down and will do nothing HOA related excuse me, hiccups. HOA related for a while. Um, we'll see how long we stay in the neighborhood because my husband may or may not be looking for another job or getting another job or you know so but but he did get a job so you know that's less stressful and wondering if he's gonna have a job at all or whether we will have to move like right away in order to get him a job now it'll be his choice whether he takes a different job I, I don't know it's not like really important and it's not like it's gonna happen right away even as moving even if he did take another job, um, probably, um, so that will be less stressful for a while. I went last Friday and had my blood drawn for my surgeon for the six months follow-up, even though it's actually going to be eight months, well, eight and a half months by the time I see him. And the woman was not a very good sick. This is four days ago. It was so bruised and it hurt so much. That was a lot of blood. It was like six vials of blood. She said, oh, it's, it's like just two ounces of blood. But I mean, I don't have any problem with getting my blood taken. I just don't like it when it hurts because of it. Um, so I was going to join the gym today, but because Pearl came over and um, everything, uh, I think I'm going to join tomorrow. I don't really have anything going on this week at all. It's, I don't have, you know, physical therapy or anything, so that's seems like a good time to join. The one I'm joining joining has a lot of water classes, water aerobics classes, which is what I'm going to be doing mainly, um, since I'm still having some balance issues from car accident things um, and getting a concussion. Uh, and so then water aerobics, so if I fall over, it really won't matter. I might have said that last week. Or a couple weeks ago I don't know but that's just what I think so if I don't stand at the edge of the pool it should be fine um, I think I think things are go pretty well uh, out of my little funk my depression funk and getting back to life I have you know some plans to do some stuff uh, some paintings and some other artwork things and I keep getting asked for commissions for my the tennis shoes that I did a lot of people want me to do tennis shoes for them and I got to figure that out like how much to charge and um, taxes and you know I, I don't know it seems kind of complicated but it seems like something that I could do because probably most of the shoes would be different from each other and I really don't like repetitive activities I think that I would like to be able to do things um, that you know that would bring people some joy but that I would also get to stay at my house most of the time when I did it oh sorry kick the table I'm oh I told myself accountable this week I am trying to take pictures of everything I eat and drink and then I'm gonna post it daily on Instagram and you can see my Instagram information in the info box below um, you can follow me there and uh, it's really like I said it's it's mainly to, just to make myself accountable for what I'm eating and drinking because I have fallen off the drinking enough liquid bandwagon again I have only had one glass of coffee, one cup of coffee this morning, and I just uh, started on my first drink of the day, and it's almost two o'clock. So I have to drink like three more of these before I go to bed. 
And I don't like to drink after 7 o'clock at night because I don't like to get up all night and pee. But I noticed that I definitely knew that I had not drank enough um, the day, the night that we went, after we went to the zoo because we were walking so much and everything. And, oh, I kept waking up with horrible cramps in my legs. And then last night I was, uh, in the last two, couple nights I've been just waking up with cramps in my feet and my legs. And it's hard to get get them out of my legs because it's generally like, one side wants to be stretched one way and the other side of the leg or foot wants to be stretched the other way so when I try to relieve one side the other side cramps up or is... I'm sure you can hear all that clink 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 and that's that's Pearl climbing all around her cage she's very interested in what I'm doing um, yeah so I definitely need to be more accountable to myself to drink enough and I know that a lot of people especially um, pre-oppers or people that are just getting into post-surgery stuff always pretty interested in what people who are post-op eat and drink in a day so it'll be a way like a duplicate thing where I will let myself know what I'm eating and let you know what I'm eating if you're interested if not that's fine I mean, I don't really like looking at pictures of what other people eat and drink most of the time. I think um, because we're not professional photographers, most of the food kind of looks kind of gross, uh, <laughs> you know, because it takes a lot of good lighting to make uh, food look really good. Are you throwing stuff at me, Pearl? Okay. I think that that's pretty much it. I hope that everyone is well and happy and doing well, doing great. I look forward to talking to you soon and I will see you next week. Love you. Bye.